Hey guys, welcome back. John and Jack here. We're going to be talking about the round kick. Uh, I'm going to break the kick into sections and we have uh, exercises to uh, help you strengthen your legs, work on endurance, and a bit more of an explosive delivery um, with the kick. First bit, we've got all the stuff we're going to use today as well. Really simple stuff like belts and bands, cheap stuff. Um, so we're going to have a belt down as a marker um, that you'll be used a bit of a step over with the footwork. So the first bit is all about the delivery um, and getting, getting the feet fast to swing the kick in. So Jack's going to put um, a band, you know, you get them super cheap, Amazon, for about a pound or two. He's going to put it sort of on his shin, roughly. Uh, and we're just going to do it slowly to start with one foot is over, and he's just going to step and bring the leg up. Like that. Just the, the delivery portion of the kick. All right, okay. He obviously knows what he's doing, so he can be on the bounce and can do a bit quicker. So we've got one, one bounce, two, three. Start to speed it up now, yeah, we skip into it, ready? One, two, three, four, and five. So you can do that for reps, you can do the time, change legs, obviously do both sides. The, 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 the point is what you can take off now. So the part, the, you know, the point of that section is to be able to quickly get the leg up, quickly deliver the kick without really having to shuffle around too much and, and give the game away. You just want to be able to get the leg up uh, nice and quickly. Next part, don't need this. You need to put that on again. Again, around the ankles. You're going to put one hand on the wall. This part is, is like a, a leg raise. And this again is just reps, just like in the gym, um, you need to decide on them, you should be here like that. And he's going to do some, some just leg raises from here with the bands, like this. And he's basically just trying to work his glutes, the adductors, you know, his groin, his quads, all these muscles to, to help get that kick up, get the leg up to, to, to deliver that first portion of the kick. And again, 10, 15, 20 reps per side, um, just to really help work those muscles and get the endurance of the leg going. Uh, that's cool. Next part we're going to do, we've got the snap portion of the kick. You need this bit again. So again, just with the band, super cheap. There's loads of, you can buy bungee cords and ankle cuffs and stuff like that, but this is just a nice, cheap, easy way to do it. Uh, and all we're going to do, he starts from here, and uh, he's going to bring the leg up, and we're just looking at the snap portion of the kit again. Jack's pretty good, so he can do it, Norman. He can snap the kick, but if he wants to hop close to the wall, he can put his hand against the wall, and he can deliver it from there. And we're just looking to work that quad. Bit of resistance to work the muscle a bit stronger. And again, you can do that for time, and you can do that for reps, and obviously do it on both legs. So we've broken down those portions uh, of the kick, uh, first of all. Now we're going to work on some, uh, on some endurance, so you can take that off. The last part. This is a bit of a burnout, working these muscles that keep, uh, keep your leg in the air. So he's going to put his hand against the wall. First portion, I'm going to have my hands like this. And he's going to move his leg back and forth, just burning out that muscle, working it hard. Then the next one he's going to go up and down, like this. And again, do the reps, do the time, and the last one, the figure of eight. Just have that control and endurance in the muscle. You can do that for time, you can do it for reps again, like that. Awesome. So yeah, just a few exercises that you can do. You might be super strong on one portion of the kick and maybe need to spend a bit of time on, on uh, other parts of the kick, or you can work it all in the same session. Uh, there's a few things you can try at home to improve your technique in class. Thanks for watching.